Without further ado, please allow me to hand over to the Chief Electoral Officer. Thank you. Hishlema Hakainde S. 2,810,757. I therefore declare the said Hishlema Hakainde S to be President elect of the Republic of Zambia this is 16th day of August. 2021. So there you have it, uh, the announcement from the Electoral Commission out there in Zambia, business tycoon and opposition leader Hakainde Hichilema has been declared winner of the hotly contested presidential elections, defeating the incumbent president, Edgar Lungu, with uh, 155 of the 156 constituencies reporting now official results as at this morning, Shoji Chelema had secured over 2.8 million votes against Lungu's 1.8 million. Now, the significant win sparked celebrations on the street after an election marred by sporadic violence. Now, Ichilema, a former chief executive officer at an accounting firm before he entered politics, faces a daunting tax turning, the, turning around the economic fortunes of one of the world's poorest countries. So there you have it uh, since early this morning in Lusaka. Very early people celebrating as the opposition leader Akainde Hichilema has been declared winner by the Electoral Commission. Quite a, a surprise uh, turnaround, you have to say, where the incumbent uh, loses uh, the election. So let's check out the profile of uh, the president-elect of Zambia, Akainde Hichilema. For you this morning on breakfast born on the 4th of june 1962 uh the party for the united party for national development that's the undp opposition party he's been following and contested for the seat of the presidential elections five times check it out 2006 2008 2011 2015 2016 and again in 2021. And he won in 2021. Now, he obtained a bachelor's degree in economics and business administration from the University of Zambia in 1986. Now, this is coming at a time where a lot of people are asking so many questions of how he would turn around mm. the economic situation of Zambia as we speak. All right. So our correspondent who's been monitoring the situation out there in Zambia joins us this morning after quite a hotly contested election. Lydia Makina. Morning, Lydia. Good morning, Tisha. Good morning. Now, Lydia, how is Zambia currently behaving or acting in the wake of Hakende Hichilema's victory as we speak? Well, there's been a celebration everywhere. Uh, uh, this is what uh, the people wanted because uh, the people have spoken and their voice has been heard. So there have been a celebration everywhere and uh, it, it's quite, uh, it quite went well, the election. And we see that it was uh, a very free and fair. And uh, the army also did a very good job in uh, uh, applying that uh, there was peace during this campaign and also as well as the election. So right now, every uh, most of Zambian citizens are celebrating because their voice has been heard. And uh, every uh, vote really uh, mattered during the election. And it has, been, uh, it has come to pass that... Uh, Finally, the elected uh, UPND leader, Mr. Hakainde Hichilema, is now the president of the uh, uh, Republic of Zambia. So the, the country really is celebrating as I'm, uh, as, as I'm talking to you. Uh, we are seeing uh, visuals uh, of the scenes this morning in Lusaka. Now, back in 2016, Lydia, Hakainde Hichilema narrowly lost to Lungu by about 100,000 votes. Now that he has won after five attempts you know, at cracking at this, uh, how is the opposition party taking this victory. We also heard comments uh, from Lungu's camp saying that the election was not even free and fair. What's been, uh, how has it been? It has been a very tough time for the opposition um, uh, party, so to say, sadly, that we are now calling it the Opposition Party Patriotic Front, which was the ruling party uh, earlier on. And we see that uh, some uh, of the officials are actually uh, uh, going out of the country, we are not sure whether they want to go and 
have a break or they are running out. That's been very tough. And then additional to say that uh, their party members are pointing fingers at each other, saying that uh, uh, the, his, uh, the former president, uh, uh, Dr. Edgar Changwalungu, did not listen to the voice of the people. Instead, he listened to those that were close to him who were lying to him. So at the moment, they are just pointing fingers at each other. Meanwhile, the, patriotic, the UPND party members are just celebrating and saying that it is now our time because I've been fighting for this uh, uh, five times now. This is like a, a, a remarkable moment for them because finally it has come to pass. And uh, for the opposition um, leader, patriotic friends, at the moment, they're not saying much because uh, they, they have just accepted the defeat. Right. Now, 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 Lydia, tell us really, because the former now former president, I mean, that's what we can call him, has come out to cry that there, were, there was foul play as it wasn't free and fair. According to the law, what can he do in the next coming days now that he, the opposition has been declared the president of the country? There's a petition. He can, he can do that. And then in a right way, but uh, he has to have uh, uh, good points to prove that uh, the, the, the election were not actually free and fair. So he, he can uh, he can go to court. There's there's court for that, and then he can do the this pe the petition. So he, he can still go to court and uh, you know claim something if they, he feels there was something wrong during the election or the counting of the votes as well as uh, the violence, which he said that uh, there were violence and uh, that his party members were killed and uh, chased out of polling station. So those points, if the, the court will hear him and if they'll be valid, obviously they, they can be a, a step that can be taken in. But you see that uh, all the general election that we have been having, uh, the law has been with us. So we, we also hope to say that even this time, the law will always speak for Zambians. All right, thank you very much, Leader Makina, our correspondent in Lusaka, Zambia. For the latest to the elections now, Hichelema has declared victory. We'll wait to see if Edgar Lungu will concede defeat. Thank you very much, Leader, once again. Thank you for having me.